hello it's Ashley here from paper and twine I'm going to do a bit of a day in the life today I think um, I need to make a shopping list it is currently 10 to 11 I'm very behind where I wanted to be um, I had mm, a couple of hours in the night where I didn't sleep woke up at eight o'clock should have got up then um, it was beautiful bright sunshine blue sky I uh, went back to sleep, husband bought me a cup of tea about quarter to nine and I didn't get up until about quarter past nine which was very naughty. I've been doing some jobs in the kitchen, pithering, putting washing away, sorting out the fridge, all you know all those kinds of boring things. So I'm going to make a shopping list and um, have a look through some cookery books um, and then I might just put you on fast forward and then show you what our meal plans are for the week. I'm going to keep it simple this week because I've got lots of crafting I want to do and I'd rather do that than be planning um, extravagant exotic meals I think. So I know I need bread and that will remind me to look at bread products, things like you know um, Pete and like bagels. I'm not a huge fan of bagels, I find them a bit dry but you know they're all right with a bit of cheese in, melted. Um, and I need bacon because we all like bacon and we need eggs you always need eggs in your cupboard and um, I'm just going to start I mean that's random I haven't really done a organized list have I but I'm going to put down here rocket salad tomatoes peppers apples I've got grapes, I fancy some raspberries and we'll see what else we fancy when we get there. Um, I need, what do I need? Sliced cheese because it's portion controlled, um, ham, yogurts, butter so that's a start to the list um, I think because it's late in the day um, I'm going to have a really really easy tea today um, so it is Tuesday 18th May and today we're going to have fish fingers chips and peas because actually it isn't too high in calories um, I've had a very sensible breakfast this morning Pete had cooked himself a breakfast bless him um, and there was a spoonful of baked beans left so I've had one slice of toast with no butter on and um, the beans that were left in the saucepan were a bit dried up so I put some balsamic vinegar in them which really peps them up and it loosened up the sticky mixture a bit and just had that on toast and that'll keep me going for a couple of hours um, so I need fish we'll do a freezer section here fish fingers um, I've got peas but I will check um, skin on fries and the lovely Angie Beaumont made the comment that um, I could make my own wedges and things and I could but uh, life's too short um, and I have done that when I was on Slimming World, the Slimming World chips and the wedges with the fry light and the seasoning. Um, but I just really don't even want to be bothered to do that today. Um, and Ella will want pizza. We keep a couple of pizza pizzas in the, ov uh, in the oven, in the freezer for Ella um, so that she can just, you know, help herself. She is funny with food. I mean, she doesn't watch my videos, so I don't mind sharing this with you, really. She is funny with food. She always has been. Um, she won't mix things up on a plate, and she doesn't like the texture of things. So, like, we love spaghetti bolognese and cottage pies, and, you know, they're really good for using up leftovers. She won't eat anything like that. Um, and I asked her yesterday to engage with me and start a shopping list and just put down things that she wants, and she hasn't even done that. Um, so... We do know she wants Diet Coke actually, Diet Coke and I want tonic water 
and fizzy water I like the fizzy water right oh and um, let's put uh, snacks Ella down here So I'm doing the fish fingers, chips and peas, because she will eat that. Let's have a little look at a cookery book and then I might put you on um, fast forward. So I've just got a couple of cookery books down here. This book is a very, very old book. I think it's a Reader's Digest. Yeah, it's the Reader's Digest. My dad has got this and um, I know a couple of people who have got this. Let's just have a slurp of coffee. Um, and everything is arranged from memory by um, month so you can do things that are in season what's this in here announcing domino special guest pizza extravaganza oh yum yums um, yum yums are our um, Chinese takeaway that we go to in rugby in town um, they're the only Chinese takeaway we've ever used and they deliver and um ah oh, it's it's brilliant uh, we love it really really love it free delivery we get now um so that's all rubbish i think that can go right uh it's got like an introduction of um buying for quality vegetables I like the illustrations in this as well I use this for projects at school a lot and it's all um, every month I think is organized by different things so you've got poultry and game rice and pasta vegetables and salads savories and snacks meat desserts or uh, sweets and puddings um, it tells you the uh, the recipes at the beginning of the month and i think i thought it yeah it tells you the food in season which is really interesting and then this suggested menus so you've got suggested uh, starters uh, main courses and um desserts so here's here's a menu you could have avocado and citrus salad this is for april lobster thermidor with green salad and grapefruit in brandy very 1970s i think or you could have artichokes with hollandaise sauce veal with orange saute potatoes and glazed onions i like the sound of that gatto san honore now i do remember that let's have a look and see what it says for may though and see if we can get any inspiration So we've got lots of recipes for May and there's also a Chinese dinner party as a special thing. It says the land doth will, the sea doth wish, spare sometime flesh and feed of fish. So it's telling you to eat less meat and eat more fish in May. I do like fish but obviously <laughs> being in the middle of the country we're um, not in the best place to get fresh fish. Um, some nice sounding things there so food in season we can see here we've got all these quite a lot of vegetables are in season um, it's telling us that lamb isn't in season in May I suppose it wouldn't be would it I do like lamb there's a fish here called witch w-i-t-c-h like the witch like crafty batty calls me she says i'm a witch there's something here called scad in the fish section or horse mackerel uh, we could have pickled salmon beef popiette with buttered noodles tossed green salad that sounds quite nice i've got some fresh noodles in the fridge actually gooseberry flan my dad grows gooseberries and uh, quite often has a bumper bumper crop and and gives me um quite a lot so i've made gooseberry crumbles i've made gooseberry fall i've made gooseberry ice cream i've um made gooseberry gin that was quite nice 
Well, we don't really want soups and starters. We're looking for main courses or fish. The Cure's Omelette. Mm. Well, I think I've witted on for 10 minutes. I'm going to put you on. So because I want an easy week, I've just gone for old favourites really, but I have found this spicy Mexican chicken. I'm leaving out of it the um, kidney beans because I'm not a fan of kidney beans. Um, and we'll have it, I, I might put some peppers in instead actually, just for a little bit of extra vegetables. Um, looking at the meal plan, there's not a lot of vegetables. We've got a lot of salad but we've not got a lot of leafy greens really this week but um do you know i don't really care <laughs> so uh, we're having fish fingers chips and peas tonight spicy mexican chicken tomorrow beef my homemade beef burgers and salad on um thursday they're quite healthy um the chubby baked chicken um i do that slightly differently now they suggest that you um do a whole um chicken breast per person but um, we find in the Aldi chicken breasts are really big. So two between three of us is ample. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and I do it um, in chunks instead of pieces. So it's like homemade chicken nuggets. And we have some roast potatoes and again salad with that. I'll vary the salad. And then Saturday night tea, um, steak, chips, peas, mushrooms, tomatoes. So it's plenty of veg going on there. Uh, we cook the tomatoes down slowly so it's like um, very rich. Ella won't eat that but Pete and I like it with our steak. Um, now Ella's not here Sunday and Monday. She um, is going to Manchester with a friend and staying in a cheap hotel. They've got um, a coach for 90 pence. How amazing is that? Anyway, so she's not going to be here. So we've already said we're going to have um, a Chinese takeaway and then Monday um, Peter started playing badminton again now that things are opening up. It's something that he's done for many, many years uh, with uh, four friends. Well, there's different numbers every week, but the core of them is four. Um, so he goes off about half past six and isn't here for tea. And Ella won't be here, so I can fend for myself. So that's a week's worth of dinners. Easy peasy, done. Uh, I can't actually go shopping at the moment because Pete's not here. Um, he's not been here all morning and... Um, uh, yeah so i'm i'm stuck so oh i might have to do some crafting that's a shame right i'm back from aldi it is uh, five to two i'm going to do this really quickly because my battery's running out so i've got <coughs> a small seeded loaf which i like brioche buns for the burgers bagels just to have in um everybody likes this for toast some tortilla wraps for tomorrow's dinner uh, hula hoops, salt and vinegar crisps, uh, Ritz type crackers, um, skin on fries, petit pois, fish fingers, pizzas for Ella, two lots of chicken breast fillets, um, I'll freeze what I don't need, um, three sirloin steaks, 5% beef mince for our homemade burgers, um, bacon to keep in the fridge, it's uh, used by 4th of June so it's got a good use by date on it. 
um, some ham for sandwiches, eggs, cheese, cheese slices for me. Uh, Pete likes these horrible cheese slices on his burgers. Yogurts, butter, milk, peppers, apples, green beans, uh, mixed chilies, mushrooms, raspberries, strawberries, cherry tomatoes, uh, tomatoes to have cut up in our burgers, um, sweet leaf salad, rocket, coriander, yogurt and fruit bars for Ella, um, Kit Kats, Tonix tea cakes, well they're not tea cakes, they're the wafer biscuits, chopped tomatoes to have in the cupboard, we're doing that a jam, so I've just got some strawberry jam, some honey nut cornflakes for Ella, moving around, um, diet coke for Ella, fizzy water for me, I've still got some left, um, low calorie tonic water for me, a um, couple of bottles of red, a couple of bottles of white, um, some coffee, I've just realised I've bought ground and not beans, so I might have to take that back, and some um, surface cleaner, I like this, it's lime and mint and it's really fresh smelling, so very, very quick whiz there, and it came to £96 something or other. We have had a busy day today, it is coming up to five to six and uh, I don't think I've stopped all day really, I've managed to get some crafting in which is lovely, um, I don't know what to start with first, this is going to be the last little bit of film for today so don't worry, I think I'll show you this first, um, I'm entering a challenge um, with the lovely Tammy of Tammy's Creative Cards um, she has launched a pet ATC challenge. So um, I've made my ATC from blue. And uh, because she's a cat, we've done this. So I've used um, Graphic 45, Raining Cats and Dogs. I've nearly finished both the 8x8 and the 12x12 pad now. It's a very old pad. I don't know whether you can get it anymore. So this was like a background paper. And I've just got this uh, little image of the cat here asleep. It reminds me of Blue. She's currently behind me sleeping on her chair. I've rearranged packaging out of her box and she doesn't like it. And then all you need is love and a cat, um, like a, a faux postage stamp. I've put a little eyelet through and um, there are these off the 8x8 paper pad. Uh, little postage stamps of different cats and I've just put them on this bulb pin um, it's a bit fiddly but you can see different postage stamps um, with different cats on Le Chat Noir um, what does that say I can't see clever cat yes and then on the back um, I've put on one of my backgrounds, name blue, birth date May 2015, can't remember the exact date, I've tried to find the paperwork and I couldn't find it, animal, cat, likes, my family, playing with my stick, eating and sleeping and then um, I've put a little pocket here um, at the bottom with raining cats and dogs because that's the title of the paper collection and I've kept everything coordinated, I'm going to print off a little passport sized photograph of blue and stick that in there when Harry was here he took some nice photographs of us so I'll find a nice one and print it off and then I've used some paper from the collection to make a little envelope um, so that's the ATC I can hear Mr Paper and Twine has come in and put the oven on for tea I think we're all a bit Hank Marvin thank goodness it's an easy tea tonight okay so that's the ATC and then because I'm not hoarding and I don't really use journaling cards or haven't in the past um, I've put a selection of journaling cards in this little jacket that I've stolen how to make from um, Crafty Mama Paper Crafts and uh, Woolly Steph has done me one as well with um, ATCs in so yeah there's these journaling cards and postcards that are all double sided that's quite sweet isn't it love is a four-legged word and that one so those are kind of four by six journaling cards and then we've got these little ones uh, there's a, just a little bit of scraps of paper that I didn't want to waste so put those in that little pocket there 
um, and all you need is love and a dog um, so those in there that's just a little extra because I'm not hoarding anymore I might dress this up a bit more I might not I don't know I'd probably just leave it as it is because it is going to Canada and it is expensive to post so with that in mind I've kept the card really really simple I've just used a scrap of paper again on the bottom of the envelope and then um lucky dog a little tag just lifted up on some packaging a little bit of twine through it tiny little bead and i just let the image sing for itself really and home is where my dog is so i shall write a note from blue to tammy in there and that'll all go off in an envelope to canada hopefully tomorrow then last night i made my mini journal uh, for woolly steph's art club on the outside um it looks okay i've got eight uh, bits and pieces because i thought i might like to do a couple of uh, extras but i've used this imagination paper from stamparia and it was very satisfying putting the um the pages inside i've used 300 gsm the super smooth stamping card so i can go straight onto it if i want to or mount but i didn't follow instructions i'm not very good at following instructions um so instead of my ribbon being glued on the outside it's glued on the inside and instead of having like the extra bits on the outside like she'd matted and layered um steph had matted and layered you know separate bits and pieces mine is like that on the inside i don't know why i did that um yes as i say i'm not very good at following instructions um but this is quite sweet, isn't it? And I thought it was quite uh, appropriate for me being a musician. When words leave off, music begins. And I'm, I'm, I'm just loving that. It's given me an idea for when I do my um, A to Z album for the winner of my um, challenge, I, I, shall do, I shall do it like this because um, you've got space for the dimension. Um, and and you've probably used less card and um yeah i hadn't got string so i used some cotton yarn that i'd got it's quite a nice color and i'm liking the muted muted colors even mr paper and twine thought it was quite good but again you see i didn't listen to instructions and i went ahead and mitered myself and i've got bare corners so yeah as i say it's a bit like a dog's dinner inside but i am happy with the outside and I found this little scrap of stamp area paper and it says illustration and that would have said journal. So I thought that was quite sweet because it is like a mini art journal. And I've stuck a couple of little copper beads on there and I've put hashtag Woolly Steph's Art Club on another little scrap of paper that I've gone around the edge with black soot. So I'm hoping tomorrow to do my um, art journal prompt page with that in mind. I've had a play with some brushos this afternoon and I've used because I don't know whether I want to do sea themed for the summer or whether I want to do plant and animal based I don't know so I've given myself some options and these are just mop-ups um, of little bits of, of card I did film how I did it so um, I will film the whole process of my art uh, journal page because it's the first I've never done one before so this is the greens I used moss green leaf green and lime green it's a very vivid one loving that um and another vivid one and this is even more vivid just love the little speckles and then we've got some blues i used um cobalt blue ultramarine and turquoise in various combinations yeah so that's a little bit of a mixture of um i think this was the first blue one i did and there was a little bit of green left but that's quite nice for seas i'm thinking that mermaid stamp that i bought on this um because i want to send some happy mail to somebody who i know has a thing for mermaids because i found some mermaid paper i'm not going to use i don't think so they can have that so that's me a long one again um thank you very much for watching bye now